This time, 1,067. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. 1,031. 1,050. Issues. Greetings, discreet defenders. Today we're going to test out some more relatively inexpensive 9mm hollow points, 115 grain standard pressure as part of our series on 115 grain standard pressure fired from a short barrel. In this case, it's Ammo Incorporated, and there is the data. They're claiming 1160 feet per second muzzle velocity. And I guess we'll see out of the little Taurus GX4 with its 3.1 inch barrel, we'll see what we actually get. We've got the Pro Chrono ready to go. Delete that last string, whatever it was. And we've got five rounds of this stuff. Looks almost like an XTP style bullet. Wouldn't surprise me if they actually got these projectiles from Hornady. And let's see how they do out of the short barrel. 2043. Okay. Backing up a couple of feet. Try not to kill my camera, but gonna have to get about six feet back. Two thousand fourteen. Well, I can tell by the recoil they're not going two thousand fourteen. Uh, we might have a little bit of problem with the uh, with the sunlight today. Nineteen eighty eight. Uh, yeah, they're not going 1,988 feet per second either. I don't know what we're measuring there. I'm just going to do these last two and see if we can get anything. <laughs> nah, we're not getting, we're getting nothing. We're getting nothing. Um, they do feel a little bit hot, not obviously not that hot. So we'll probably have to test them for, uh, for velocity on another day, or if we get a little patch of cloud cover, it was cloudy when I left this morning. So all of a sudden the sky decided to clear and my, uh, my new pro chrono hates sunlight as much as my old pro chrono hated cloud cover. So. Next up, we'll test the gel block. We'll do the, next up, we'll do the gel block penetration test. Okay, we have a nice 17 inch column of gel. Once again, ammo incorporated, nine millimeter, 115 grain standard pressure. Backing up the gel with a bucket of ice, because I forgot to bring a water jug. Four layers of heavy denim, as per protocol. And let's see if we get expansion. Yeah, yeah, we did get expansion. Let's put the ruler on that. Oh, it's magnificent. I think th this is among the best. For cheap ammo, 
those results are absolutely impeccable. I, I'm gonna swing it around this way so that the sunlight lights it up. Look at that expansion cavity. That's magnificent. And look at where the bullet came to rest. <laughs> 14 and a half inches of penetration through that heavy denim. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. And you can definitely tell, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit of a smaller XTP style bullet. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with this one. Uh, th this is definitely a winner. I just hope we can get uh, some chronic, chronic readings on it in the near future. All right, let's, uh, let's break out the caliper and see. Yeah, that's very, uh, very XTP like limited expansion on that, which explains the adequate uh, penetration depth. Well, let's see if we can get, uh, let's see if we can get some, uh, some caliper readings on that. Zero that out. Which is the why? Well, there's a little, <laughs> there's a little projection off this side. That's probably gonna, oh, that's gonna crush. But even on that widest point, it's only 517. It's about 50% expansion. But let's take a little narrower look at it there. 47 one hundredths. Yeah. 498 at the realistic widest point right there. Not a very big bullet. But penetration is king. Can't argue with 14 and a half inches of penetration. Since this is so inexpensive and now I believe fairly readily available, I think what we're gonna have to do is find a patch of shade here and set up and try the, uh, try the chronograph readings again. Okay, so I found an oak tree out here on the wild Dakota prairie. And I've set up the chronograph. Not even sure if you can see the face of it. Try to increase the exposure just a bit here. Might be able to do right there. Five more rounds. And we'll get back. See what we can see. This time, 1,067. Yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. 1,031. 1,050. 1,040. And 1,064. Review that, high of 1,067, low of 1,031, and the average 1,050 feet per second. Not bad at all. So that's we're, our Ammo Incorporated, nine millimeter, 115 grain, standard pressure hollow points. And there's the data. There's the test gun. GX4 by Taurus. 3.1 inch barrel. Or 3 and 1 16th to be technical. All right. So I think that is a winning brand of ammunition considering 
It's a very inexpensive 115 grain standard pressure 9 millimeter hollow point. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week. All 12. No issues.